behind this beautiful old house lies a honeybee colony that has been residing in the home for the last 25 years. The family has allowed this colony to stay and thrive and they have never done anything to disturb them. But with the future renovations coming, our farm took an adventure and went and rescued the colony. This beautiful family loves the bees and we appreciate the fact that they want to give them a good home and save them. We wanted to document this story, not only for us, but for them. You see, the grandfather that resided in this house and allowed the bees to stay recently passed away. So the first thing that we did was we went up and we actually talked to the bees and we told them that their keeper passed. We wanted to do this as gentle as possible. So we gathered our things went over to the house early in the morning and made a small hole in the wall where we could hear them buzzing. We slowly started to chip away at the wall. You could see the horse hair that they used in the plaster. As soon as we got the colony completely exposed, we stood in awe as we watched how docile the bees actually were. We slowly started to remove the comb and planned on saving it for the empty frames. We used rubber bands to secure the comb onto the actual frame. See how we're piecing it in? The bees will eventually build new comb and connect all of it together and the rubber bands will eventually disappear. My mom is actually being as gentle as possible. You see, this entire piece of comb is capped to brood. You can actually see the larva over in the corner. My dad is slowly working away at this time. We are still being gentle and being extremely vigilant for the queen. As much brood as we see, we know that the queen is gonna be here. It's just a matter of where and when we're gonna find her. This hive is showing that the queen must be extremely healthy and fertile. The entire hive looks amazing. Look at the brood pattern. It's perfect. Well, she definitely held Found her. her. I see her. She is right here in the corner. Is she, is she? I got, I got her. her! Yay! <laughs> I got the queen! Yep, there she is. She's really, really, really Wow, she's Magnolia. big too. Queen, queen Magnolia. Magnolia. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, give me the queen. In fact, she waited all the way until we got yeah. all the comb and everything. Yeah, right. the and here she is. We weren't 100% sure that we were going to find her, but lucky for us, it wasn't too hard we safely secured her and put her back in the hive. Then all we did was wait. The majority of the bees could follow her scent and they made their way to the hive by themselves. We didn't have to do too much to get the rest to follow, but we did clean up and we made sure to secure the hole and we tried to save as many bees as possible. All that's left to do is to pack up relocate this colony over at our farm. We are about to release the queen. This is her colony, so let's see if we can, can you get in there? There she goes. 
What a beautiful day. We were extremely blessed to have such a calm hive to relocate. This is a once in a lifetime hive. A hive that has been living in a house for 25 years. It's perfect. It's never been treated with anything and it's not showing any signs of disease. I really can't wait to tend to these girls. <laughs> 